Samsung has had a bad year, given a sharp fall off in the sales of its smartphones that hit its profits hard. A worry for a company that had established itself as the clear and at one stage seemingly untouchable leader in the booming smartphone market. The Korean group came out fighting again at IFA with new partnerships and innovative phones to rekindle the excitement of its early releases. By far the most intriguing was a surprise tie-up with the Facebook-owned Oculus Rift to bring virtual reality to mobile customers with one of the first widely available headsets. A year in the making, the headset links to Samsung's latest smartphone to provide all the excitement of a trip to the Cirque du Soleil or an adventure with the Avengers. And so here we have Samsung's Gear VR, the uh, virtual reality headset. I think for most people, I think the, the, the initial reaction would be how light it is. It's, it's just really a, a plastic frame here with a, uh, a touchpad there, allows you to navigate the return key there. And the phone, which is um, Samsung's latest Galaxy Note 4, clips in just to the front here. So I've clipped the, the front on there, which just gives a bit of protection. And now it slips, hopefully, relatively, Easily over the head, and I immediately see a, a mutant games character with a huge gun and uh, a scary look on his face, uh, standing underneath a, a, a towering golden statue with a hammer. Presumably, uh, this hopefully won't be the first thing anyone sees when they, they walk into a new world, because it's absolutely terrifying. If I look behind me, there's a, 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 a spaceship crashed into a, a long corridor, billowing with flames and smoke, and we're gonna, gonna come out of this, and, uh, and go into the Oculus home. So the videos actually, so you just have to touch there. And then straight away I'm into a sort of terrifying vista of smoke and fire, of the lava flame beneath me, beneath the, my, my legs which, which aren't there. The most unnerving thing is, is really the lack of, 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 of you being in the picture. All you can see is, is, uh, is, the, is, the, is the scenery coming around you. So now I found myself into an amazing movie for you. But I can see a huge cinema screen and I'm just going to uh, tap on go, which is a sort of 1950s style of driving, but uh, rather than in a car park, it's actually on the moon. So uh, my seat's plonked on, uh, on, the, on the crater with the rocks in front of me and the dust blowing over it. I've got some popcorn here and the projector there. Uh, it would appear that the popcorn's not real. And uh, behind me there, I've got my spaceship, which I landed in. This device uses the phone's camera to see through the virtual reality into, well, reality. So the user can wander busy streets or even order a beer in a pub while being immersed in a movie or game, albeit at the expense of some pride. Using this device in public certainly turns heads and makes people ask questions, but you do feel a bit silly. I'm not sure we'll see too many users roaming the streets of London using them anytime soon. Wow, that was Genuinely amazing. Um, considering 20 years ago, you would be really staggered to believe that could uh, that could be uh, given to you in a small consumer device. That is, that's incredible. I mean, I think you know, walking through the office with the uh, with the, with the headset, the first reaction from most people is amazement that this they, sort of technology can be sold in such a small parcel. Because actually, the clever thing that Samsung's done is is price it relatively reasonably. So the the headset itself is 200 pounds or so. Uh, the, the, the smartphone, which is top of the range, Galaxy One, you know, is four or five hundred pounds. So you can get the whole bundle for under a thousand pounds. That does mean it's in, in the reach of, of many people, but at the same time, I, I do think it's ultimately going to be a relatively niche affair for the time being. You can see people, you know, wanting to try it once or twice. I'm not sure I'd necessarily go home in the evening, and plug myself in, and watch a movie for a couple of hours. Um, saying that, you can see the developers, particularly, and the, the, the software makers, getting really involved in that. It's incredible to watch a movie on on the moon, and you can see people in future just getting hold of the possibilities of that and really taking it quite far. So, I, you know, you can see why Facebook certainly would buy something like Oculus Rift. The um, the potential is is fairly impressive. Whether or not it'd be for me, I don't know. For the time being, you have to buy yourself into the Samsung world of devices as well. Saying that, it's pretty exciting, and I can't wait to really see how it develops.